Rev up your engine! It's time for the Steady Kilmer Channel. I'll show you how you can clean EGR valves on your car so you don't have to buy a new one. Now EGR valves stop nitrogen oxides pollution. So they have to work right or your check engine light will come on and you can fail an emissions test. And sometimes they'll break and they'll stick wide open. Then it'll suck so much air that the engine will idle poorly and run bad. As you can see, the hot exhaust gas comes out of the engine and some of it goes into the EGR valve, which when it's opened up, sends the hot exhaust gas back into the intake manifold. So that sends already burned gas into the engine. So the engine temperature is lower. And when it combusts, it won't create nitrogen oxides and pollute the atmosphere. So I'm going to show you how you can take them apart, clean them, then put them back on and make them work like new. Now the bolts are often rusted on, so I spray some WD-40 on them first. You spray it on the thread so they'll come off easier. Then as you can see, it turns a lot easier and comes off. Then you unbolt the side bolts on this one that holds it in place. You have a few taps with a hammer. And you wiggle the heck out of it to get it off. Now before you start cleaning, if you look inside, you'll see there's a little rod in a diaphragm. You want to give it vacuum pressure and pull on it to see if the diaphragm's ripped. Because if it's ripped, you're going to have to buy a new valve. So you get a vacuum pump, and you hook it up to the vacuum line, and then suck on it. And when you do that, watch the valve. See how it moved up? That means the diaphragm is working, and this one is good for cleaning. You can also watch the vacuum gauge. If the gauge goes and then when you let go it starts sinking, goes down to zero, it means it's ripped and you're still going to have to replace it. But this is holding pressure and moved it so we can clean it. Now to clean it you can use any kind of solvent and you want to spray it inside. The pencil's inside here. Any of the big openings, spray it and if you really want a good job, do it upside down and let it soak for four or five hours. If you really want it to soak good, that'll get any carbon off. What you're doing is cleaning a little pintle that's inside there. It's a little needle and it blocks it when it's down and when it opens up, it lets the exhaust gas go inside the engine so it doesn't create nitrogen oxide pollutants. And like I said, if you want it to really be cleaned well, you might just fill it up upside down, let it soak overnight, and then put it on the next day because the solvent could take a while to get rid of carbon buildups. And then of course slide it on and bolt it back on when you're done. And make sure you get them on nice and tight. <clears throat> then start it up, feel with your hand, make sure it has no exhaust leaks. You gotta make sure the exhaust parts are super tight. And remember, if you got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I get done taking this for a drive. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.